Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, I'm sure you can tell by the title, but um, yeah, this video I'm just going to give a few little tips that I learnt while I was teaching myself how to goal kick on um, just how to get a bit more distance on your kicks, right? And so just before I get into it, I just I do want to say that I'm not a professional. Right? I was never you know, professionally coached or professionally trained on how to goal kick. You know, everything I've done with goal kicking has been self-taught. So, you know, these tips that I'm going to give you might not necessarily be, you know, true, like, you know, scientifically when you super break down goal kicking or something like that. But just, you know, these are things that I learned while I was goal kicking that hopefully can help you out as well. All right. And so with that said, um, there are two main points when it comes to distance on your goal kicking. The first is your run up, like are you more side on, are you more straight on, you know, all that. And then the second one is the placement of the ball on the tee. Right? And so hopefully you guys can see this. I'll take some photos when I get home anyways, like to explain this a bit better for you guys, but hopefully you can see it here as well. And so what you do is when you place the ball down on the tee, that determines how much of a sweet spot you have to aim at. So, for example, if I have the ball a bit flatter, right? So if I have the ball set like that where it's a bit more flat, you know, it's a bit more flat towards the ground, it's not more up and down, right? What that does is this whole area around here, like pretty much all the way from the B on the ball all the way around, that whole section now becomes a sweet spot. Right, because the softer part of the ball, you can make solid contact with it with your foot when you're running in to kick it. All right, so that whole area becomes a sweet spot. Right? And then similarly, if you aim the ball higher up, right, so if you place the ball higher up like that, if it'll stay, yeah, there you go, right, the sweet spot now becomes a lot smaller right, because you're going to run the risk of actually, um, if I can get it to stay, hold on, sorry. Yeah. So if you aim it a bit higher up, the sweet spot now actually becomes much smaller because you're going to run the risk of actually hitting the tee a bit more in your run-up depending on your run-up, right? So it all depends, right? So for me personally, I like to have the ball a bit flatter because with my run-up, when I run in, when I make contact, I'm making contact here. Like I like making contact on this section of the ball right here, this like side panel. Right, that's where I personally connected the ball to get the most distance, right? So if I line it back and I run in and I hit it, obviously not the best kick, but I hit that side panel. Right? And that's what helps me get the most distance because that's what works with my run-up. Right? So, you know, it's not a case of um, one thing is more important than the other. They both work in tandem, right? So, you know, if I'm kicking a bit more straight, then I might want to have the ball a bit aimed higher up because my straight run up is actually going to be forcing me to be kicking up under the ball. So you want it to be pointing a bit higher up to make sure you're hitting that sweet spot on the bottom as opposed to on the side. So if I'm a bit more straight on, I'm running in and I'm hitting underneath the ball. But again, that doesn't work for me. I hate kicking like that. I don't know how people do it. <laughs> All right. But yeah, those are honestly the two key things. All right. So what you need to do is I recommend starting with your run-up, right? Figure out what your run-up is and how you approach the ball. And then from there, that's where you decide the best way to place the ball. Like, is it up? Is it a bit flatter? You know, stuff like that. Once you have your run-up in place and once you know when you run in, how you connect with the ball, that's how you can determine how much of a sweet spot you're going to need or like what, what sort of sweet spot you're gonna need, I should say, not how much. All right? Because again, you know, if I have the ball up like that, you know, if I have the ball up high like that, oh, in case knocking the ball down. Yeah, so if I have the ball high like that, and I try to do that with my run up, I'm gonna be hitting pretty much straight under the ball and it's just gonna go flying off to the right, most likely. So if I try my technique, I'm gonna run in and I'm gonna hit it. See, it's it's off to the right immediately because the way I approach the ball and then the, mo the point of contact is my foot being sort of like in line with the ball pointing forward, my foot will be making 
contact facing that way. Uh, so it's going to swing the ball out that way. Uh, whereas again, if I have the ball a bit flatter uh, with my run up, by the time I'm making the ball here, uh, my leg is already on that forward motion swing, so it's going to be more towards the goal. Uh, so, you know, again, just like if I've lined it up there, when I run in, uh, see, my leg was already at this point of contact already on its motion of swinging and hitting a bit more straight. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Honestly, those are, those are the two things that I learned when I was trying to get more distance with my goal kicking. Uh, you know, so just like, yeah, understand your run up and understand at what point in your like when you're connecting with the ball like you're connecting with the ball with your leg like you know sort of closer and a bit more straight on then aim the ball a bit higher if you're like me and you sort of swing your leg around it a bit more then have it a bit flatter to open up that sweet spot okay but yeah, with that said guys you know that's how i taught myself um hopefully yeah, hopefully um, these few these two little tips help you guys out that are trying to get a bit more distance on your kicks that are trying to learn that aren't being coached professionally or anything like that that are just sort of doing it on your own uh, and yeah hopefully they help you out um, yeah that's it so, um, yeah take it easy guys have a good one